Sometimes I feel like like I really don't belong here. Like I'm supposed to be someplace else. Hercules. Crowds will cheer when they see my face. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I know every mile will be worth my while. But if you found me, then where did I come from? Why was I left here? This was around your neck when we found you. It's the symbol of the God. This is it! Don't you see? Maybe they have the answers! I'll go to the Temple of Zeus! You are now listening to In Town Beats. I don't care how far, somehow I'll be strong. I would go most anywhere to find where I belong. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? I said, what up, fellas? It's your man in the building, okay? Every day, bro, okay? Every day, bro. All these places I go, people know me, man. People respect me, man. I kid you not, bro. It's a different type of respect I get, man, okay? People know me by my first name, bro. I could come in with a damn hat and some glasses on trying to hide, and they still know who I am. This is the life that I have built up for myself. This is the projection that I have put out to the outside world. I am cultivating the strongest most potent energy that we have here okay that humans have bro and i'm showing you on how your life can change instantly i had a completely different life than most of you guys okay i grew up as a youngster bro a little knucklehead you know come on man we all do we all grow up as young boys getting into stuff man i was no different bro okay so when i'm telling you that i could have continued a life like that okay or i could have chose to keep my vibrational frequency high and go on this path of retention and totally change the person who i am i'm telling you you can do the same thing i want you guys to understand something man you're gonna have so much resilience do you understand me to the outside world do you understand me bro that you have a forced feel around you to bullshit Bro, nothing can penetrate what you got going on, bro. You are set up like Fort Knox, G. You have blocked out any and everything, bro, that is not emitting a circuit frequency or a certain light. Therefore, you have now started to create your world, okay? And then once you go on and you see that you don't really need all these people, People, bro who are sucking on your energy you start to see how much strength that you gain and as you get stronger and stronger and stronger bro what happens is it starts to form into ogis chi energy now you're able to direct this energy wherever you want to go you're able to walk through this world like you are the damn creator call it bruce almighty bro you are out here with this perfect avatar who is walking in purity, bro. Do you understand what purity means, bro? Okay. Do you understand what that means, bro? Okay. We're talking about a Christ-like energy. This could go across all of your religions if you wanted to. The Christ-like energy, the Messiah, okay, the chosen one. This is the energy you encompass on this journey. I was reading something earlier today, and I want you guys to let this sink in your mind for a second to put into actual context on how we're not even scratching the surface of the true powers that you get from retaining your seed.
You see, this started off in Brahmacharya. I told you where this originated from, okay? Because we just took it and we took our, made our little spin on it, called it retention, bro, okay? And we've created our own set because we're in a different part of the world. These people who truly practice this art, this magical power, bro, okay, that a man has. You got to understand this is a magical power, bro. Why? Because not many people are going to be obtaining this, okay? What I'm about to tell you guys is going to blow your mind, and it's really going to put into context on where you are and where I'm at, okay? Because we're going to all get to gauge each other as far as how we're going on our journey. So I read this thing in this Brahmacharya write-up, okay? And it says to master this art, the, the person must go 12 years, 12 years. Do you understand that there's somebody in this world right now, okay, that has retained his seed for 12 years, gentlemen, okay? I want you guys to let that sink in. I'm talking about 12 years, bro, all right? Here I am. Two years, seven months, okay? And these people have been retaining their seed, bro, all right, for 12 years. And these are some of the most intelligent people walking on this planet. And now you can see why when people have been going on this one, two years, you see the elevation in them. Okay, you see it in their presentation, you hear it in their voice. All right, these things just go together, bro, like a book. And this is that beautiful power of what putting your energy, all right, in the right direction in your life can do, bro. I am illuminated, fella. Illumination, all right, the highest, all right. This is where I'm at, bro. All right. I have a control over all of my senses. Do you understand that the hardest thing in this world to conquer? Okay. Is the, the, the sensual urges that we have as humans. Do you understand that that is the hardest thing to control? All right. And it just doesn't revolve around that one organ. Okay, this has to do with all your organs. All right, I want you guys to understand this. Hearing stuff can set you off and put you in a low vibrational frequency and make you do things that you're not supposed to do. Seeing can do the same thing. Tasting things, because tasting is a form of pleasure, bro. Okay, can send your mind in a free fall into that direction. Touching, bro. Anything exciting, bro. These things, bro. All right, these sensual things that we have that we have to battle every single day, bro. Okay, is the problem. See, you have to focus, bro, on giving up everything. Okay. When I tell you, you have to let go. I told you, you have to let go, bro. Everything that you've been taught, you have to let it go, bro. And what you're going to see, man, when you give in to the unknown, bro, you are stepping to the most high. All right. You're stepping to the most high and cleanse, cleansing this, bro, and purity. All right. You have given up everything. You, you have no attachments, bro. See, this is what I'm saying, man. I don't even get how all these so-called religious people talk all this talk, but none of them doing retention, bro. Most of them are using excuses to get married. So like I told you, they can hide their addictions. All right. This is what it is out here, bro. Ain't nobody out here getting married for real, for real, bro, anymore. Those days is over, bro. It's all about what this person can offer you. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm telling you right now, unless you're one of those people have been married 30, 40, 50 years, Even then, bro, it's a high possibility, okay? So the simple fact of the matter is, bro, that you guys, all right, cannot control yourselves. And this is the problem that most of us are having on our journey, okay? You must understand, bro, this, you have to get yourself to a pure state of mind, bro, okay? And then what's going to happen next is then the physical is going to come in. You have to give yourself over to the most high. You have to submit, bro, 
All right. Just do it. And what you're going to see, man, is your life open up like never before. You are now unlocked everything. Fellas, listen to me. How don't you? Okay, listen. Just, just listen. Hear my voice, guys. All right. If there was, we're in the matrix. We've all agreed on that. Okay. We've all agreed on it. We're in the matrix, right? So if we're in the matrix, there's got to be a way to counteract what is going on here. There's got to be a way to beat it that people have not figured out yet. And if you look at what everything is making, you know, our society crumble, what it points to. It all points to our senses. I just told you the hearing, the seeing, the tasting, the touching are organs that we cannot control, which ultimately leads to us vibrational frequency, releasing our life force energy, our seed. Okay. And causing our lives to fall apart. When you are walking around full of life force, think about it. If you are walking around full of life force, there is going to be something beneficial that comes with retaining something called life force. You're going to have a tremendous amount of creativity come to you. But when you're releasing it, you are losing that creativity. You are losing that spark. You are losing that ability to want to keep going because you get comfortable. So this is the, this is the divide that I want y'all to see. Okay. What side of the fence are you on? Okay. I have been retaining my seed, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to understand this. And this is why I'm so passionate. And this is why I want you to see what I see. Because if you did, your life would totally change. I, the, the people who know you right now would not recognize you tomorrow. If you give yourself over to the most high and the unknown, all right, and you truly go on your purpose as a soul, I promise you that, okay, but you guys want to be cool. You guys want to have jokes. You guys want to be out here just doing a bunch of dumb stuff, bro, wasting your time, man. I don't know what you guys don't get about the word wasting your time that you don't understand. You're wasting your time. When you could be evolving, getting better, all right, and just giving your soul, giving your avatar, giving your life what it is that you really want. And that is to do whatever your desire is. But you have no idea what that is because you can't even have the creative faculties in place. So you could even picture what it is that you want. You're so depleted, bro. You're so just tore down, busted and disgusted, bro, that you have locked yourself down in a relationship, all right, where you will now no longer be able to reach your fullest potential. To me, that is absolutely weak, guys, all right? And it seems like to me that most of the people out here, bro, still don't get it. They still don't get it, bro. How many things do you guys have to hear? How many stories do you have to hear? How many videos do we have to make? How many people, bro, that have already been billionaires that have told you the secret, okay, that has trickled all the way down the, the chain to us, and now we're regurgitating and experiencing and going through the journey ourselves, but yet you still ain't hearing us though. You still out here looking for entertainment, bro. What are you doing with your life, man? I, I just don't know. I don't get it. All right. And if you've already signed that contract, bro, don't, don't sit here and act sad for yourself. You could still do it. Hell, that might even put some extreme change in your wife. All of a sudden, you act like you ain't interested in the booty no more. What do you think's going to happen with her mentally? Hell, that could be the best thing for some of y'all relationships. But instead, most of you guys are sitting in these exless, exless relationships and marriages, 
All right, wait until your wife go to bed, going down the stairs, pulling out your little phone, sitting on the couch, getting on those busted, disgusted, rusty, tore up ass kneecaps, bro. Leaning all the way back hella quick, trying to get one off. Instead, bro, you could take that energy, man. All right. And totally change your whole environment around you. I told you, you are the creator. All right. You're going to sit up here now and change everything around you, bro. All right. Watch people start coming into your life. All right. Watch all of a sudden all these new women start, you know, just being super nice to you. All right. Watch what happens to your spouses and or, or girlfriends or wives then. OK. Some of you men need to take your power back. All right. And you've been wondering how you can do it. And what you've been doing, bro, has not been working because I see so many depleted, tired, busted and disgusted dudes every single day, bro. All right. And they look just worn out, bro. Lost all their hair. You know why they lost all their hair. I told you what it's related to, fellas. All right. They chose to go out on that end of the spectrum. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to be one of these smart ones, bro? Are you going to be one of these people who really retain the glow? Let me tell you guys something. We talk about the glow all the time, bro. And we don't even understand where the glow came from. The glow came from, bro, the movie, The Last Dragon. Okay. And let me explain something about this movie really quick, just in case some of y'all are still on that loser bandwagon and have never seen this movie. You should slap yourself in the face right now because this is where the glow comes from. This is where that fa that phrase comes from. This is what we're always talking about. We're talking about a dude named Bruce Leroy. Now, let me tell you something about Bruce Leroy, and it's not even a coincidence. So, Bruce Leroy is a damn virgin, he is a virgin in the movie. And he is the number one ass kicker in the movie. All right. He's walking around with the glow. He goes on a journey to find the master. And guess what he did, fellas? He went on the journey by himself. He didn't have no females chasing him. He didn't go and get no nudie magazines and sit in the corner and, pl and pleasure himself. His whole journey was about discipline, staying on the path, bro believing he was going to find what it was he wanted to find. And what did he discover at the end of the movie, ladies and gentlemen? What did Leroy discover? That he had been the whole master the whole damn time, you jackasses. And that's what you are. But you out here playing around. You don't got time, bro. What are y'all doing, bro? What are y'all doing, bro? Okay? This is a must do. Okay, if you don't do this, man, you wasted your life. I'm telling you right now, you've wasted your life and I'm turning my back on you because you have the same energy, bro, that everybody else has, man. And you can choose to do with it as you will. All right. And I'm telling you, if all of us just were to get on this path and get on this journey right now, bro, we could change around this world in no time, bro. All right. And I'm talking about being able to have any and everything you guys want. You guys don't understand that you could still be doing some of the things that you seem like you can't let go of, bro. And you can still be doing them, bro, on a higher vibrational level, all while retaining your energy and transmuting that energy and giving that energy to a partner who is then returning that energy to you. You could have all the same things that you guys are out here seem like you can't let go of, bro. You can have all the same things, but you could be doing on a much higher frequency, way more happier, way more moderation. All right. And this is what I'm trying to get you guys to start to focus on. Okay. I want you guys to understand there's a bigger picture to this whole thing. All of us men and women hear my voice. Okay. I know it's hard. Okay. But just because it's hard doesn't mean it can't be done, okay? I can think of plenty of things that you don't want to do, okay? Most of you mother effers don't want to go to work, okay? So let's keep it 100, okay? So you cannot want to touch yourself. You can want to, you know, go, stop giving it up, ladies, okay? 
Have you ever tried going celibate? Have you ever tried retaining your energy for a long amount, a period of time? Have you ever tried it? If you've never done it, then there it goes right there. You've shown, you're showing me right there, bro, that you have never given yourself a chance. Okay. And when I tell you this frees you from everything, it frees you from everything, you guys. All right. It frees you from everything. I'm not out here, bro. I'm free as a bird. I'm, I see people in relationships and they just look so tired and they don't even like each other because I told you most of the stuff that's going out on out here and today, fellas, sadly is most people are using each other. It's the way it is. It's the way the society set up, bro. Okay. It's the way it is, man. Okay. So if that's the case, man, then why are you out here <laughs> just playing with something that's just a ticking time? You know what I mean? Why are you out here doing that? When you could literally, bro, okay, be the next millionaire. You could literally, bro, be the next DJ. You could be the the next biggest songwriter, okay? You could be the next biggest author, okay? You guys, how do you not see in me, and I'm on two years and seven months, that I what? got some shit going for me? How can you not see that? And look at how it all evolved off of retention. You think I would be up here talking the way that I'm talking if I was still playing with my sticky nuts, bro, and talking about MGTOW, all right, and talking about women all the time? Where would I be? I bet you my hairline would be completely gone, okay? I bet you I have a big ass moon spot in the back of my crown of my head. Okay. I bet you I'll be looking busted and disgusted. I bet you I'll be wearing some J's that's like 10 years old. The motherfuckers look like they talking when I'm walking. Okay. I would be looking like that. But look how I am as a man. I present myself so professionally. I hold everything that I do, bro. All right. And the highest, bro, the highest, bro, respects. And for me, bro, this is the life of all lives. There's nothing out there that people are doing that I'm impressed by. <laughs> you guys, I laugh at majority of you. you. You have to understand when you become a very intellectual, a very intelligent person, okay? You see so much more that the average eye cannot see, all right? And when this happens, bro, you're able to go around, man, and literally, bro, be able to break down whatever is going on in the situation. And you can literally take advantage of the situation. You could do whatever you want. You are literally, bro, it's like you you have a, a time stopper. You could walk into any situation and hit a time stopper and just freeze time and be able to be like, this is what I'm about to do. This is what I'm about to do. This is what I'm about to do. And watch how this situation turns out. Time stopper off. And then all of a sudden you're in this situation and now you have just choreographed the whole situation to benefit you in your favor. When I tell you guys that this is it, I am not joking. All right. You, you guys are wasting your time, man. The most high, I told you, we were all X-Men, bro. Every single one of us, and including the women, okay? They're the storms. They're the genes, okay? They're the most powerful X-Men. You better respect it, okay? I don't care. You guys can come in and get mad all you want. This is why I've been telling y'all to respect women all along, bro. They're more powerful than you. And the only way that you can get as powerful as a woman is by retaining your seed. But you don't want to do that. This is why you're not going to be chosen. This is why at the end of the day, bro, in the, in the timeline that we're heading and people are raising their vibrational frequency and people are out here wanting to be the best version, they're only going to be looking for men like us, okay? You will not fit no more, okay? Because if we are coming out of the, the era of materialism and we're headed into the, the era of spirituality, and when I tell you I am filthy rich in spirituality, bro, <laughs> by retaining my seed, all right, and most of you guys out there with those busted down kneecaps, bro, and those depleted balls, your bank account look like it got two cents in it, player, all right, and the women can see that from a mile away, all right, when I tell you that in the presence of these people, in the presence of retainer, they all change, they all change, bro. All right, I'm telling you, and this is what y'all are missing out on. So I want y'all, man, again, take me seriously, bro, 
Okay. I'm a real one, bro. I come on here every damn time and I tell you what it truly is. Okay. I'm keeping it real with you. You guys need to wake up, bro. All right. And, and join me. Okay. And most of you guys are on this journey and that's great. I'm still trying to wake up the other people, bro, who are sitting there on the fence, bro. All right. Sitting there on the fence, looking like some keeping toms. All right, looking all in my window, but I ain't watching no no corn, bro. Okay, I'm over here doing my business. I'm over here transmuting my energy. All right, I'm over here, bro, on my purpose and on my grind. And this is what you should be doing at all times. All right, fellas, this is what you should be doing at all times. Your purpose and your goals over everything else, fellas. Okay, and then all of that other stuff that you want will come. And then you will see no matter what happens when that other stuff leaves, you'll still be on point. You'll still be focused. You'll still be in your journey. Okay. But if you put the other before that, guess what you're going to do? You're going to be one of these guys out here, bro. All right. They end up hating themselves, hating the world, hating women. Okay. And being addicted on corn. All right. And that's a hard addiction, bro, to overcome. So I'm telling you guys. Think with your big head. Keep that smart cap on, bro. Raise your frequency, fellas, because this is all it's about. Raise your frequency as high as you can, man, okay? Use every single edge that you can, bro, in this game of life, bro, to make sure that you graduate. Until the next time, fellas, I appreciate everybody for being in here, and I'm about to dip. I love you guys. I'm going to read a couple of these questions, and I'm going to get out of here. Dylan says, 17 days in, taking a break from women for a while, all in my goals. Congrats, Dylan. And that's the way it should be, bro. That's what you should be doing, man. Because guess what, man? You going to feel so much better like that, bro. When I tell you, bro, no disrespect to, to any of the beautiful women out there, but they're abundant, bro. The Most High did that for a reason, man. So you wouldn't be distracted by just one. Bro, you can have whatever woman you really want if you make yourself that man, okay? We've already seen that. We've already proven that. Now, I told you where the next, you know, elevation of where we're headed is, is we're headed into that higher frequency. We're headed into spirituality. So what is going to get you, what is going to put you in that top tier? What's going to put you in that top tier, bro, is one of these guys out here retaining their seed and they can sense it and smell it. They don't even know why they like you. Bro, man, I just hate talking about my stories because, you know, some people might think it's conceited or arrogance, bro. It's not. I'm telling you the real. All right. I'm telling you the real, bro. I'm different than everybody else, bro. And they see it and they sense it, bro. And they be on a brother. So when I tell you guys that this is all you have to do to make sure that this is what, you know, this is what's going to keep you to being that man. This is all you got to do. Nick, what's happening with your brother? He said, had someone at work today tell me they admire my ability to keep showing up regardless of how hard days can get. We never got, we never got comments like that as a coomer. Bro, tell the truth, Nick. Here's the thing, man. I got that same thing, bro. I get that same thing, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, congratulations, by the way, Nick, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Because like I said, that that's making people keep an eye on you now. They, they seeing you, bro. They wondering what you doing. That's so different. How, how do you got this edge? Okay. And they're going to be shocked on when they find out what you're doing, because most of these people out here are not doing it, bro. Bro. I have so many conversations at work with people. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I do. I tried to keep my mouth shut, bro. I honestly did. I tried to keep my mouth shut, bro. But I had so many people at work that just looked broke down, busted, and disgusted. And I had to tell them about semen retention, bro. I had to tell them I was doing it. Okay. Most of these people would think, oh, man, you know, if you even did that a little bit, you're cool. When once I, they hear that I've held myself for two years, bro. 
Man, I'm telling you, man, people look at me with a weird eye, bro, and they're really interested in what it is that I have to say, okay? Because what I'm saying, it makes sense, but the truth is how many people can do it, okay? And I think this is where that high interest comes in, okay? And then people want to see what it is that I'm talking about. They start to do their own research. They start to see that all these powerful people before us came and did this, okay, and left their mark, and they see that there's tons of literature, and now they see there's a whole community on the internet talking about it all right so we're doing our job we're reaching the people that we need to reach bro so you guys just keep doing your thing man and we're going to keep this thing going nose telly what's happening with you bro he says they don't understand this journey a lot of mega scrubs talk about big game but fall short due to a feeling a quick fix Thirsty for JJ, bro. You ain't lying, man. Here's the thing, bro. It's like it's like it's like this. It's like they junkies. <laughs> it's a perfect analogy because the woman knows what they want. They come over, bro. They come over. They got like six dollars in their pocket, man. They just want to buy a little burger, right? Quick. Let me let me get a burger, man. I got this six dollars. <laughs> Bro, instead of not even chasing no woman, having women chasing after you because you the man, bro, you're glowing, bro. When I tell you you glow, guys, it's it's a reason why they came out that movie, you know, The Last Dragon in the Glow. They're showing you, bro, this man did not have no sex. And what did he end up doing, fellas? What did he end up doing? He ended up becoming a true master, bro. Okay, you saw he ended up doing some stuff that was supernatural, bro. So if you don't get gems and movies, man, then I'm sorry you missed the bus, bro. Because all of these movies are telling us we have the Matrix, we have Neo, we have all these different movies, bro, that tell us about the power that we have. The 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 biggest part is you got to put the puzzle together. You got to understand the message that they're trying to show you, bro. And I've just given you the gym, man. Okay. I told you, man, when you retain this sexual life force energy, bro. Okay. It now recharges you, bro. It recharges you. It re gives you life, man. You got to understand. It's like power up after power up after power up. It's like you find a mushroom glitch. You know what I'm saying? You just this is what it's like every single day, bro, on retention, man. Okay. Because you hitting some power up somewhere, some way, you know, met somebody, you know, made somebody's day. This person wants to hook up with you. This person wants to hook up with you. Next thing you know, you're going out to dinner with this person, you're hanging out with this person. Next thing you know, this person knows this person, and this person wants to give you an opportunity. When I tell you, bro, that this is the ultimate unlock to anything that we have in this matrix, bro. It is. And it goes for both sides, bro. It goes for both sides. I can't wait to see actually, because I'm curious on what it looks like on the woman's side. I can't wait till I start seeing women making videos called ovum retention, bro. Straight up ovum retention, bro. And they talking about they have not released. They have not played with no toys. They have not squitty squirted. They haven't done nothing, bro. Okay. They have not touched their box down there, bro. All right. They have not had nothing that has to do with any kind of pleasure. When a woman decides to do that, bro, she's going to be one of the most powerful people on the internet. Mark my words okay you you heard it first when you see a woman actually do this bro she's going to be the most powerful woman on the internet mark my words okay i'm telling you what it is bro it unlocks gifts bro that we all have man and it's a reason why the most high made it the most difficult part of the game bro because everybody ain't just gonna come in here and beat this game it don't work like that you think the, the most high made this game the person that created you made this game but you think you're gonna come down here and beat it come on let's get real like guys he said, bro, I'm starting to get free stuff, man. Laugh my ass off. He said, free Starbucks last week, free pizza this week. It's the truth, man. I get too many things free, bro. 
and it's 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 funny man and like even today i got some free stuff today like it was just crazy man i go into this one place i told you they know me by my first name it's just weird bro and i ain't tried to make no impression like crazy or nothing it is just my energy who i am bro how i carry myself I don't know, maybe how I introduced myself, maybe how I sit, maybe how I talk. I can't tell you exactly what it is that is the factor that all of these people, bro, now have me in this category, okay? All I know is what I'm doing and I'm retaining my seed. And any other time, bro, in my life that I wasn't retaining my seed, I couldn't tell you things like this. So I already know what it is because I've done my research. I've listened to the people before me and now I've walked the journey myself. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, this is what it is, man. You're going to get a lot of free stuff. Okay. You're going to, you're just going to be in a good energy. People are just going to want to do nice things for you. All right. And that starts on early on too. You could be in your first 30 days to 60 days and start experiencing that. But like I said, the longer you go guys, the more potent this energy gets. Truth and Broadcasting Station says it's second nature now. 14 months, 8-month streak, 19-month streak now, and the current 17-month streak. Let's go, you weak, no-purpose man. Tell them, bro. That's what it is. Congratulations, by the way, man. You're a real one, Truth and Broadcasting Station, bro. You've always been a real one, man. You always share the real, ev the real evidence with people, bro. You've always said the right things, man. I listen everything you say bro because you are a real retainer all right and we can put you know some of the things that we agree on together bro and we can make some things happen man and i love how all the real retainers bro have found the channel man and that's what i want no offense to all you people out there on the fence but i'm sitting here bro and i really want to be with the real retainers bro okay i really want to hang with the people who are sitting in the same energy as me bro Okay, so that's all I want to tell you guys for tonight, man. I hope you guys, you know, continue to stay focused. I hope you guys are staying safe. You're still taking care of yourself. You're still eating well. You got to do all these things, guys. All right, it's only going to help you on your journey, man. All right, remain smart, stay strong, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. You guys have a great night, man. I love you guys, man. Peace. I will not Stage fail, completed. even if I must sacrifice my life.